Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and this is actually gonna be a really random video I just got a few things to say and then we'll continue on with it and you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail What I'm gonna be doing anyways. I just want to say I'm I was actually really surprised on my last video We hit 300 views um, As of the last time I checked which was a few minutes ago, but um Anyways, I was really surprised by that <laughs> like that video just blew up so hopefully I can do some more gameplay footage of that PDW that I showed off at the end of the video, but as of right now, we're in quarantine mode. You can't really do anything, but you know, we'll get through it. I want to thank you guys for actually making me hit the 300 view mark on that video. Um, it's not a lot, as you can tell, so all the other Airsoft videos out there, but for me, 60 subscribers that I just hit, um, 300 views on that video, it's actually really surprising. But um, one thing I do want to show you guys what I'm doing in this video is I was doing a little VR gameplay action on this. It's called... The Oculus Quest, um, it's its own standalone VR system, and what I'm doing is I was doing a uh, shooting game in that contraption, <laughs> um, but anyways, um, it was a pretty fun game, I was just messing around, I hope you guys enjoyed the content of the gameplay, or whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about, um, anyways, these are the controllers to it, um, the reason why I was, I'm doing this is just you know, mess around, get something up on the channel, and hopefully by April 24th is when Action Sports opens, which is my local airsoft field, and I'll be able to get some more gameplay footage up until then. Anyways, so that is what I'm going to be doing in the rest of this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace out guys. So I have played this for a little bit, we're going to do some sandbox mode and try out some different guns and attachments. Because why not? Really bored. Don't really care. We're just going to go to sandbox mode. Start. Let's go do it. So I guess we just teleport. They have some stuff set up already for us to mess around with. Otherwise, we can spawn some more stuff. Because why not? But this is like the workstation where you could choose all your stuff and spawn different items. Let's actually mess around with this AK real quick. Because I haven't really tried out too much. So, I mean, like, every part of this gun, well, not all of it, you can actually mess with, like, the fire selector, pretty cool, the charging handle, actually realistic, and you gotta take out the mag, it does come out, and you just take another one, put it in there, shooting is nice, alright, so let's actually, you know what, I'm not gonna do this gun, I am gonna do a, I'm gonna start off with a, a pistol, so I actually have, huh, wonder if they have my airsoft pistol in here. Alright, so here we go. The 1911 A1. Let's just fire a few rounds. We can actually move this target up. It's actually pretty cool. So, actually, that's back. So I can just show you what the effects do. Did I already racked that back? Yeah, who cares? Sights are the fiber optic sights on this. Oh, it's actually really nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. Right in the head. And... We're out. So that's actually pre pretty cool. The effects locks back. And you could actually just take the mag out by using the mag release instead of actually manually taking it out with your other hand. So you just put it in there and then rack it back. <laughs> Alright. So we did that gun. We can actually spawn stuff from our wrists. All I have to do is just face it up and choose the guns. Pretty cool. Uh, ooh, Desert Eagle. Let's, let's try a little bit of this. Why not? Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Man. The things you can do in this game. Because I did mess around a little bit before I play or recorded this. Actually, just the realism to this game. So, since we're stuck up in this quarantine, you know, you gotta pop a few shots doing something. Oh. Since you can't be airsoft in it all. Wow, that is... <laughs> That's realistic already. You know what? Let's put a... Let me use this. Let's put a... I'll graphic side on here. That is small. You can actually flip these flip up sights down. Put that right about there. And oh yep, it does work. Alright, so you know what? Let's let's reset this. Move it back. That's good. Alright, it's already racked. Get rid of that. I don't know why I grabbed that. Let's do a few shots. Way too easy up close. All right, let's move this back. Actually, a lot. 
farther. All right, that's actually pretty far. All right, let's reset it. No more bolt holes. Get a clean, full metal jacket up in here. Okay, get that out. All right, here we go. Oh, that is insane. That is that is actually awesome. Like everything, just like holding the gun. Why do I keep picking this up? Get this out. All right. Like just like holding the handguard, it's actually really nice. And like looking at it, and how you can move the sight across the rails and the flip up sights, and also just like the fire selector. That's really cool. Let's just move this up so we can see what we did. Not bad for, you know, messing around. <laughs> All right, M67 grenades. These things are actually really nice. Let me spawn another one. <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's blow up some boxes. Let's mess this place up. We're gonna light it up. Oh, I hit my bike. 